This is the Earth Science Classroom. Welcome back to the channel. This video is all on cast environments. It is part of the sedimentary rock uh, playlist, the rock playlist. Also be in geomorphology and also an Earth as a system playlist. So this uh, video is going to look at what cast environments actually are, the meaning and where does the word derive from or originate from. And literally just had to add uh, a little thing called carbonic acid, um, which is naturally occurring. And that will form these different kinds of environments, which we'll list in this video as well. So uh, here we go. So cast environments, uh, before we get into the, uh, the scientific definitions and the origin, uh, these pictures, I mean, these are just a few pictures I've chosen to kind of like show you the diversity and sheer beauty of this kind of environment, this kind of landscape, this kind of topography and natural features that form within this cast environment or cast landscape. We just simply call it cast. Now you've got these beautiful um, pinnacles and these very tall like columns you've got these beautiful underwater caves and these beautiful um up here in the top right are these limestone pavements and these cenotes right here with a nice little like literally uh in ground uh swimming pools literally it's in the ground and it's a swimming pool uh you've got these beautiful uh sinkholes and uh you've got disappearing streams versus uh springs and uh all these beautiful different landscapes which cover the entire planet um which have basically uh, made humans wonder how these are formed and obviously go and uh, see them as a tourist attraction. And the most uh, famous cast environment landform or feature has to be the Solution Caves. Now, there's amazing caves all across the world, uh, both in the US, in Southeast Asia, in uh, South America, Australia. So beautiful caves and you know humans have have either used caves for you know ancient civilizations and societies and survival to nowadays going into uh, caves for studying of science uh, ecosystems biomes strange newly discovered animals and of course uh, sports like spelunking and just taking it in as a uh, average tourist these caves are, are wonderful and uh, are basically the most common uh, cast environment feature. So this cast environment. So first, let's kind of like uh, define the um, definition of the word cast. The cast comes from the word kras, which is a uh, Yugoslavian Yugoslavian word that means um, bare stony ground. So from that, we can kind of get a an image or a picture of what this looks like now yugoslavia post 1992 became a set of uh, independent countries um across that that region that area now the region in question is right in here so it's on the well, it's on the border of current day slovenia and italy it is a uh raised plateau uh, which is synonymous with these uh, landforms and features that we now call cast. Now, there are some areas that are classified as pseudo cast, maybe some volcanic regions, which do have similar bare stony ground. However, the rock type or the bedrock is not the same and it cannot be called cast because it would normally have a metamorphic or igneous bedrock which created those features, in this case volcanic, which is igneous, uh, so it's called pseudocast. So you get that in, uh, let's say, uh, volcanic regions like Hawaii. So we know the word comes from. Now, what is the actual word mean in terms of our landscape and geomorphology? So it basically is um, sedimentary rocks, and in particular, we're looking at limestone, dollar stone maybe a small percentage of marble which is metamorphic but very very small so we got to include that just in case and within the limestone dollar stone we can have other elements added in like the iron 
or magnesium into the mix, uh, which would vary the limestone dollar stone, but also very small. So this or these two basically are carbonate rocks from the uh, carbonate mineral group, which contains mostly calcite. Okay. So calcite is our mineral, which is the most common within limestone and dollar stone. Now, the elements in calcite would be CaCO3, which is our calcium carbonate, which is the same uh, chemical formula as our limestone, with dollar stone being the addition, with the addition of some magnesium. So the calcite is very, very cool in a way that it reacts with weak acid so anything below obviously seven okay on the ph scale now a weak acid in particular which is naturally occurring would be carbonic acid and there will be a video on carbonic acid and the formation of carbonic acid um, both in the atmosphere and in in conjunction with the soils and how it interacts with the bedrock in a different video but carbonic acid and dollar stone, in terms of the calcite, the dollar stone could be anything between 50% dollar, uh, sorry, calcite up to 90%. Limestone is has to be over 50% to be called limestone, but can be as much as 95% calcite. So these two rocks are primarily calcite. And when it um, comes in contact or interacts with this carbonic acid, which forms naturally, you're going to get what's called dissolution. It's going to break down into a solution. So the rock will eventually turn fully, completely, 100% into a solution, which is liquid and will no longer be a rock. So what does that mean? It means that if you have an area or region which is primarily consists of a carbonate rock, a limestone, and or dollar stone over a period of geologic time, which again is could be anything from you know a simple year to a billion years of exposure to the elements, and the elements include this carbonic acid. You're going to get the dissolution of the rock and it's going to be differentiated in different uh, time and different space. What I mean is that not everything will dissolve and break down and weather and be eroded. So you have weathering at the same time leading to uh, fantastic landforms and features on the surface but also subterranean. So you have an area of the world, okay, and it's mostly limestone or dollar stone or combined together. You add some time, you add the elements and this carbonic acid, you're going to dissolution of the rock, which basically turns it from a solid rock into a liquid or solution, and it basically gets eroded away, uh, basically by a water, all right, and also gravity. And then you create these beautiful landforms, features, and surface subterranean landscapes. So in terms of area or region, about 12 to 15% of the world's surface, which is not covered in ice or water, so that purely warmer land area, that other 15% is cast environments. So you do get a lot of of uh, square miles or square kilometers that is exposed and has this carbonate rock uh, geology and bedrock which has a potential to become a karst environment at different levels. All right, so different types of uh, landscapes and features that form when you uh, have a dissolution of limestone or dollar stone is carbonate rock geology. And it's quite varied, actually. A lot of these names actually come from uh, Yugoslavian uh, language. So, uh, obviously, the first one, most common one, is uh, solution caves up here in the top right. Beautiful, varied, uh, different features like the stalactites, stalagmites, the speleotherms, the, the columns, the uh, different things that can happen in, in a cave, just geologically. Uh, then you get these cenotes, which are literally the meaning of an in-ground pool. Uh, Basically, a hole opens up on the on the surface, 
and the limestone and dollstone gets eroded away and, and broken down. And what leaves is this massive, like, bowl. And inside the bowl, it reaches down to the water table and actually forms this beautiful little swimming pool right here, which is great. Uh, then you get the classic sinkholes. Now, we have those, those all across Europe and uh, North America. And uh, they can be kind of troublesome, and uh, you can't detect them really very well. But sinkholes, and you've got different types of sinkholes based on a vertical shaft, or if it's a collapse sinkhole, or a foiba, or a foba, uh, which is kind of like a basic sinkhole um, that you find in Europe with a kind of closed, it's in, an enclosed sinkhole. Uh, a poya, or poigi, so if I'm mispronouncing this uh, word, um, my Yugoslavian or my Slavic is kind of uh, rusty. Um, Poyek, that is a that is right here. It's a massive valley of limestone and uh, dollar stone and very steep uh, sides with mountains. And this whole valley is um, kind of dotted with various cast landforms like sinkholes or uh, dough lines or uvulas, which basically are sunken uh, depressions in the ground and uh, yeah you can have this whole collection in this one valley because it's all limestone next are the springs so the springs are where water comes out of rock out of nowhere but really it's coming out of a cave a solution cave system where the water is traveling through the, the limestone through different cracks joints bedding planes and caves and caverns both um you know, uh, underwater through the water table and coming out at a certain location, uh, going on its way down to towards the ocean eventually. And then you've got the disappearing streams, which is the part of the stream uh, which is going to produce the spring, but it's on the top of the surface, at the top of the cave, where it finds a sinkhole or creates its own sinkhole and flows down into the ground, into the, un, into the subterranean uh, underground cavern system where you can't see the stream anymore on the surface. As I mentioned before, the doline uvulas. Doline is two different types. There's um, the collapsed uh, doline, which is where the, the, the uh, overburden rock collapses into the the, uh, the hole created by the lack or void created by the lack of limestone, which has been in, been taken away, um, that's collapsed where the, the material goes into it. Or you might just get a solution dough line where you have just a, a hole and it could be basically it's a sinkhole, but I think sinkholes are the general term and dough line is more of the uh, geologic term for these. Then you get the povor, which is... The opening to the cave right here. So it could be a, a lateral, horizontal opening uh, as opposed to a sinkhole, which is more the vertical type, or a swallet is more diagonal. Um, but the uh, the pouvoir is like that opening to the cave where you might see a stream disappear or you might not. Depends um, on the situation, uh, which is kind of cool. And the last feature... Um, in these types is over here on the right hand side it's a surface uh kind of like epi cast epi cast is a term for like the top layer of this cast environment the skin uh as so to speak of the uh, cast environment or cast um topography and this is on the surface and basically it's all limestone right here and it's been kind of carved because limestone breaks in these kind of like all the 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 weakness and joints occur on these kind of like cubic shapes you get these beautiful like uh pavement tiles being uh weathered around these in a cubic shape and you get these beautiful patterns on the surface um and again these joints these holes uh can get larger and larger and larger and go deeper and deeper, deeper thus starting to create the cavern system and you might get a disappearing uh stream or even a, a sinkhole or a dough line uh created but these pavements are pretty awesome this is the Earth Science Classroom. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the content. Uh, check out more videos on our channel. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you again.